Gaining your MCSE certification, whether it's the MCSE 2003 or the upgraded MCSE 2008 version, means employers will fully recognise your abilities and be confident that you've got the technical skills to match the job. Both nationally and internationally, companies continue to seek out IT professionals who they are confident can manage the tasks required. Individuals with MCSE certification can demonstrate an industry-recognised proficiency that employers both respect and acknowledge. MCSE certification actually consists of a series of seven exams. As you move through the program, you'll gain various MCP or Microsoft Certified Professional accreditations, which, along with other basic qualifications such as the CompTIA A+, and Network+, will give you the opportunity to gain your first job in the IT industry. Now, This combination of Microsoft technical training and hands-on experience, which is an essential element alongside any MCSC certification, will increase your knowledge and deepen your understanding, enabling you to progress onto the more advanced planning and design exams. An MCSE 2003 certification will give you the skills to design, implement and manage a Windows environment under the Server 2003 operating system. Should you wish to support the latest Windows Server 2008 operating system, you'll also need to add an MCITP 2008 administration element. Although the majority of companies are still operating under older server environments, we're starting to see an increased migration to Server 2008 now and by the time a new student works through all the required certifications, we can expect Server 2008 to have gained a lot more ground. The reality is you must ensure that your training package incorporates a 2008 upgrade, as otherwise you could quickly find yourself out of date. Each of the seven Microsoft Certified Professional exams builds incrementally onto your knowledge base. One exam is required to cover the client operating system, typically Windows XP, and then there are four core exams which focus on networking systems. A further exam is required to cover systems design, and then one elective exam, typically security-based, completes the whole MCSE 2003 program. The MCITP Server 2008 Administrator course will add the required skills around Windows Server 2008 to bring your knowledge up to date and to enhance your MCSE 2003. The Server 2008 operating system has many new features which include security enhancements, web tools, management utilities and virtualization technologies. And don't worry if all that sounds like double dutch at the moment, as long as you use a sensibly staged and incremental training program then it will all be taken care of bit by bit. Becoming MCITB 2008 certified will clearly demonstrate that you're capable of using these advanced new features. Microsoft also offers two areas of specialisation, the MCSE Security Specialist and the MCSE Messaging Specialist. To obtain either of these accreditations, a student needs to take two core MCP qualifications. If this is prepared for at the start of the MCSE track, then one of these can be incorporated into the initial programme, meaning only eight exams will be required in total. If the specialisation is considered afterwards, then it's often the case that both are needed, as neither was taken as part of the original training, so the student will therefore need to sit nine exams. Your MCSE certification can lead to a variety of highly skilled and well-paid IT positions, including network engineer, network administrator, technical consultant and security professional. In the UK and around the world, industries are crying out for managers who have the knowledge and appropriate commercial qualifications to support and run their Windows-based networks and operating systems. Both the MCSE 2003 and the MCITP 2008 certifications will be very much in demand for many years to come.